In this segment, I will show you that you can technically install both repositories, that is, you can install EPEL and DAG's repository onto your system. However, this is not recommended because of various conflicts that you may encounter. And I will show you what I mean later on in the segment. But first, let's start with installing both repositories onto your system. So go ahead and open up a terminal. And the first thing I'm going to install is DAG's RPM, also known as RPM Forge. And now I'm going to install the EPEL RPM or its repository RPM. And if I take a look at the repo list, I will see both RPM Forge, also known as DAG's repository, and EPEL. Here's an example of why you do not want to have two add-on repositories onto your system. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up DAG's repository and also open up EPEL repository. And I'll take a look at some available packages. And I'll look for similar packages that are available from both repositories. Like for example here, a lot of the Perl modules have different versions depending on which repository that you use. So let's say the Perl CGI session, as you can see, both repositories have identical packages with slightly different versions. And here's another example of the speedy CGI on both repositories. And so you don't really want to install two add-on repositories onto your system because of these conflicts. In this scenario, I have both repositories installed on my system, and I'm going to try to install packages from both repositories that do not have conflicting dependencies. So I'll just go to EPEL's repository and take a look at its packages. And I'll just select one that I believe will not have a lot of dependencies attached to it. And so I'll just select HTML doc. And I'm just going to go ahead and open up the terminal, type in yum install HTML doc. Okay, there we go. And it should give us a summary. As you can see under repository in the summary, it says EPEL. So it's all, it'll all be taken from that repository. And so I'm just going to go ahead and install it.
Okay, so now I'm going to go to DAG's repository and pick a package that does not have any known conflicting dependencies with the EPEL repository. So I'll just click on package overview and I'll just select a package Okay, eDictionary looks like it's a good candidate, so I'm just going to go ahead and install it, typing in yum install eDictionary. And I should get a summary. And as you can see under repository, it says RPM Forge, which again is DAG's RPM. And I'm just going to go ahead and say yes to install it. And there we go. Now here's an example of a package that will install from both repositories. And so I'm just going to go ahead and type in yum install audacity, which is a audio editor. Press enter. And if you look under the summary, You would notice that under repository, it uses RPM Forge and then it also uses the EPL repository. And this is where mixing and matching is a bad idea because um, you're going to have different versions of libraries and, and you don't really want your system with different versions of different packages, which will make software management very difficult. But here's a workaround to installing from one repository only. If you use the disable repo option, so for, for this example, I type in disable repo equals EPEL, and that will temporarily disable the EPEL repository as I attempt to install Audacity. And, it, and as you can see from the summary, under repository is it only says RPM Forge and that's it and so that's what we want we want it to install from just one repository only finally what I'd like to show you briefly is the recommended approach with having just one repository installed on your system so for this example I have DAG's repository installed on my system without the EPEL repository. So here I'm going to install the FFmpeg from DAG's RPM or DAG's repository by typing in yum install FFmpeg and I'll just abbreviate the installation here. Okay, now I'm going to go to EPEL repository and I'll copy the link to the P7zip package and I'll open up my terminal and this time I'll manually install that package by typing in RPM space dash IVH and I'll paste the link and I'll press enter and it'll install the P7zip file without any needed dependencies. However, if I attempt to install the wine package manually, the RPM command will complain that it needs additional dependencies installed manually, as you can see from the list there. Thank you for watching.